Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, video segment uh, in which I'm going to demonstrate the procedure to complete the geometry for the part shown on the screen. This is tutorial number four which is also available on slate and as you can see uh, we have a square of 4.5 by 4.5 and thickness 0.45. Um, we have also four threaded holes uh, for which the thread diameter is a 38-16 UNC which means we need uh, 16 threads per inch it goes through all uh, and we have a circular boss that has a diameter 2 inches uh, this bore, this hole of diameter 1.25 and we have bolt circles for each one the diameter is a 316 and they are equally spaced on a bolt circle of diameter 1.625 uh, then we have this slot uh, of radius uh, the radius is given here 0.25 it says all radius to be 0.25 unless otherwise specified okay both uh, pockets have the same uh, dimensions so all arcs here are of radius uh, 0.25 okay so as we did before i'm going to follow the master cam procedure uh, we start with the geometry creation then we set the zero point for machining on the upper left corner then after that we select the milling machine then we view the uh, toolpath manager in order to do the stock setup and tool settings then we start the machining operation we verify after that and then we generate the g-code so let's get started with this uh, part so from wireframe i'm going to create a rectangle the dimension of uh, rectangle is 4.5 by 4.5 and I'm going to set the origin at the lower left corner because as you can see in the uh, given geometry most of the dimensions are given with respect to the lower left corner so in this case setting the zero point the origin point to the lower left corner will make this will we'll make the drawing of this uh, part much easier so that's why I'm going to locate the lower left corner of this rectangle at the origin like this okay so we click OK and here we are this is our rectangle completed now I'm going to create the four uh, holes the four circles of diameter 3 8 so circle diameter is 3 divided by 8 that is actually 0.375 so I will lock this and then I press and hold the middle wheel and hit the space bar in order to display this input area so here I'm going to enter x.75 comma and y also 0.75 here we are this is my first uh, circle hit the space bar again and I'm going to draw the second uh, circle the second circle in X 0.75 comma and in Y I'm going to enter 4.5 minus 0.75 let master come do the math for us so this is my second circle hit the space bar and then we enter the third circle in x i'm going to enter 4.5 minus 0.75 comma in y also 4.5 minus 0.75 okay hit the space bar on to the last circle in x i'm going to enter 4 0.5 minus 0.75 comma and in Y I'm going to enter 0.75 directly so that's my uh, fourth circle now we have the big circle so I'm going to change the diameter to 2 inches 2 inches okay and for 
the center point, I, I press and hold this, the middle wheel of the mouse and hit the space bar to display this input area. And then I'm going to enter in X, I need 1.75 comma and in Y, we need 4.5 minus 1.75. All right fix it then I'm going to change the diameter to 1.25 that's the diameter of the bore that goes through all and in this case very easy to pick this uh, center point of the existing circle so I don't need to show the input area then we click OK so as you can see what we did I drew these four circles the first circle the center point is 0.75 in X, 0.75 in Y. In the second one, in X is the same, 0.75, but in Y it is 4.5 minus 0.75, and so on. So we draw all these. For the big circle, uh, the center point was at 1.75 in X, and in Y, 4.5 minus 1.75. Alright, so this way we located the, the big circle correctly. This second circle, which is of diameter 1.25, very easy. I just pick the center point of the big circle. So now, how to draw these uh, bolt circles? We have eight circles. Each one, the diameter is a 316, and they are equally spaced. Okay, so I'm going to use different technique. I will use bolt circle, bolt circle. Okay, I need eight, so that's fine. Select a base point. Select a base point. The base point is here, so I pick this point. All right, and the diameter of this bolt circle, if you look at the geometry given, the uh, diameter of this imaginary circle is 1.625. So I'm going to enter the diameter here 1.625 okay now the last thing is to enter the diameter of this circle itself of the hole itself which is a 316 so 3 divided by 16 all right click OK so that's our eight holes nicely equally spaced now on to this uh, slot this is slot to draw this is slot very easy i need a circle of a radius 0.25 and the center point coordinate is 0 0.75 and in y <coughs> and in y it is 1.5 so circle the radius is 0.25 so, uh, so the diameter is 0.5 Okay, and the center point is at 0 0.75, 0 0.75, comma, and 1.5 in Y. And click OK. Now, I'm going to draw two tangent lines, starting from the quadrant point. So I'm going to use quadrant from auto cursor quadrant point. I want to start at the quadrant point here. Then I would like to be perpendicular perpendicular to this line. Okay. Similarly, so fix it. I want to start at the quadrant point here and I would like to be perpendicular to this vertical line here. And click OK. Then I'm going to trim this part of the circle using the command divide. We used this command before and trim the type trim is activated. So we click on this part of the circle. I'm not going to trim this part of the line. Why? Because we're going to need it huh, when we uh, machine the part. So I need to chain this rectangle uh, altogether. So just leave it like that. What is left now is the two 
uh, triangular pockets. So here I'm going to uh, construct this triangular pocket. Then I will translate and rotate to get this one in, in place. So as you can see, uh, this triangular uh, pocket consists of uh, three circles. Each one is of radius 0.25. So I will draw a circle here, radius 0.25, and the center point is, is non, right? Because in X, I need 4.5 minus 0.5625, and in Y, I need 4.5 minus 1.520. So circle, circle, radius is 0.25 already. So all I need to do is hit the space bar and enter the coordinate of the center point. So 4.5 in x 4.5 minus 0.5625 comma and in y I need 4.5 minus 1.52 okay and we click OK. Then I'm going to copy this circle. Let's have a look on the geometry. So I'm going to copy this circle down by a distance 1.46. Then we draw tangent and I will show you how to construct the, this part. So <clears throat> let's go to transform, then translate, translate. Translate. Select entities to translate. I want to translate this circle. So, end selection. End selection. I want to translate it in Y direction. A value negative 1.46. Okay. Then we click. Okay. Right click to clear colors. Next, I will draw line. Tangent is activated. The length is, uh, let's say, 1.5. Okay. And angle is 90 plus 45. So, 135. Okay. And I'm going to lock these values here. Then, I will press and hold the Alt key and then click on this circle. So we're going to have two options. I can get this line or this line. I will take this line. So click on this line and click OK. Now 1.5 also, but the angle would be 180 plus uh, 45 degrees. So 180 plus 45 degrees. That is 225. So press and hold Alt key and then click on this circle as well. Now, also, I have two options. Why we do this? Because actually, I don't have the coordinate of the center point of this circle here. So, I'm going to draw two lines and then fill it them with radius 0.25. This is the only way we can construct this uh, side of the triangular shape. So, click on this one. And then we click OK. Now, on this side, I will draw a line that is tangent to these two circles. So, line... And I'm going to pick the quadrant point here and the quadrant point here. Then we click OK. Now I will fill it to this corner with the same radius, 0.25. So fill it, radius, 0.25. Click OK. Then I'm going to trim the circles to get the first uh, triangular pocket completed. Okay, now I'm going to translate this pocket to uh, the desired place here and then we rotate it in order to get the second triangular shape uh, pocket. I'm going to translate this one from this point to this point and then we rotate it 90 degrees, 90 degrees, negative 90 degrees. 
all right so transform and then translate then I will make a window around this triangular pocket and selection okay now copy is activated but vector from the base point here is wrong okay I want to translate this uh, this pocket based on the center point of this arc so I'm going to reselect vector from to reselect and we pick this center point now all I need to do is to specify where to translate where is the destination point here okay so press and hold the middle wheel and hit the space bar and then I'm going to say okay I want to translate this to 4.5 minus 1.52 that is the X coordinate then comma in Y I want to make it at 0.5625 okay exactly so this is uh, this is my base point and this is my destination point then we click OK now all I need to do is to rotate this uh, pocket so that uh, it takes the correct orientation so rotate then we select this uh, triangular shape pocket then end selection okay here also I need to uh, reselect the rotation center point rotation center point is not the origin I want to rotate this pocket around the center point of this arc here so I can say reselect okay and pick the center point here when you hover your mouse around the center point we're gonna see this uh, object snap or visual cue so uh, click and then we specify the angle the angle is is minus 90 okay but I don't like to copy I, I, I just want to rotate so I'm going to change the method from copy to move okay now the pocket is in the right place so right click and then uh, clear color the next thing that we want to do is to change the zero point to the upper left corner so i use move to origin and then we pick the upper left corner right click and then fit then we zoom out a little bit right click and clear cut so here we are our part is now completed this completed this video thanks for watching and i will see you soon